a few words about the attack and uh, what happened. So our customer, the Morphisec customer, is a multinational manufacturing company, uh, quite large scale, of over 10,000 endpoints and systems and servers. Uh, the ransomware evaded the endpoint security solutions used by the customer in a next-gen AV and an endpoint protection solution. And Morphisec was able to prevent the attack over our moving target defense uh, technology. Uh, and Morphisec also observed that the uh, attack, even after it was uh, published on threat analytics platforms like VirusTotal, continued to evade uh, leading EDRs for nearly two weeks. Uh, uh, it, it took a while to catch up. So this attack might have been unique, but uh, it, it takes into account uh, shortcomings uh, of other endpoint protection solutions. So we're all familiar you know, with what AVs or APPs uh, do, combination of static analysis of files and detonation of the files uh, and, and EDRs that observe behaviors. But there, all these solutions are suspect to security gaps because of different evasive techniques, some of which we saw uh, with the this new Babook uh, variant, but also because uh, what we just mentioned is that many of these solutions do rely on an active connectivity to uh, to query and to receive analytics um, and, and to query threats, and also they they they're, they can be resource uh, consuming to uh, operate uh, optimally. And I will not go through the entire coverage. So what Morphisec does, and what's unique about Morphisec is we close this gap by only allowing trusted code to execute uh, with a technology that um, basically morphs uh, system uh, resources so attackers cannot inject malicious code into the uh, runtime uh, memory. Um, so, so it's a way to close the gap. So Nadav, what would be the impact then uh, that, that we've seen? Yeah, so uh, this is uh, the actual scenario that happened in the customer. So, so the customer had two sites, site A and site B. Site B was covered with uh, the Morphisec protector and the uh, other site was uh, uh, covered with other leading security solutions. So what we saw uh, actually in the attack is, you remember uh, as I said in the question, um, the attacker uh, started the attack and uh, the attacker also noticed that he started from site A and he noticed that in site A, um, the security uh, solution that they had there did alert but not prevented uh, this attack. So we immediately added to the uh, to the first delivery script the firewall rules uh, that you have seen that blocks the uh, communication. So by doing that, the attacker um, removed every visibility for the security uh, solution uh, uh, to alert on. Um, so it was not blocked and also like not alerted. And on the other side uh, that we were installed, all of thousands of endpoints uh, uh, successfully prevented the attack. On the endpoints that indeed the attacker like tried to block the communication, it didn't help them because our protection is solely uh, autonomous and uh, uh, doesn't rely in, on any kind of communication. Uh, so we couldn't do anything like he executed it. He only had like a remote uh, access. So we couldn't execute it via any uh, attempt from its remote access. So those thousands of endpoints were protected and the other ones not. 